Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Yandere Simulator Myths, a series where you guys ask me questions, give me challenges, or tell me myths that you guys have about the game, and I try to answer them in this video. We have a lot of good ones to go through today, so let's get it started. Before we get today's episode started, I want to retouch on a myth that I did in the previous episode, and it pissed me off to no end because I couldn't do it. It's the one where you have to laugh outside the occult club, and one of the fuckboys comes out, and then he notices you, and apparently he's supposed to sit down and start reading in midair when, you know, you start laughing and stuff the guy right here we're gonna try to get him here we are gonna lead him outside and i'm gonna try to make this one work or else it's gonna just be in my brain and i'm gonna be like why the fuck can i do this myth so let's do it okay we have mr sideburns right here just chilling reading his demon book we are going to laugh outside and apparently you're supposed to laugh really hard not these little bitch giggles like this you're supposed to laugh really hard when you get his attention and then he'll start sitting in midair actually let me put the camera right over here and then i'm gonna start laughing and I'm gonna try to get his attention. Nope, that's not there. You know what, maybe I can start laughing right here. There you go. All right, start laughing really hard. There you go. Like you're watching the Cub Scouts video. Just start laughing like you're watching the Cub Scouts video. And he's slowly sliding outside, I think. No? Okay, wait, 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 wait. Stop laughing, and then start laughing really loud. There you go. <laughs> there, he's looking at me. Come on, buddy. Just sit down. There you go. Go towards the wall. Okay, let me stop laughing for a moment. And he's going back. And he went back to his chair, motherfucker. I'm gonna start giggling again. He's slowly sliding towards me. And stop laughing. Oh, there, he came outside. Hopefully this works. Come on, Jay, come on, Jay, come on, Jay. Don't sit down, don't sit down, don't sit down. Yes, he's spinning. Damn, I thought he was gonna sit down in midair. Come on, buddy. Sit down in the air for me. Sit down in the air for Papi Chulo. You know what? Let me laugh outside right over here. Oh, God. Okay. Two of these guys are actually noticing me right now. Let me see if they start sitting down in midair or not. Come on, fellas. There you go. No? Aw. That guy's still spinning in circles, though. Maybe he's the one that I can only get for this to work. So let me try it one more time. Let me go around the corner. Let me just start laughing right over here. There you go. He's sliding towards me, Michael Jackson style. Come on, guy. Please come to me. Please come to Papa. Slide on over to me. Yeah, you see me. I'm around this corner. Sit down in midair. Sit down in midair, fuckboy. Ah, oh, he's still twirling like an idiot. Why? All right, you know what? Let me just try laughing in front of this guy's face. There you go. He stopped spinning. And he started spinning again. He's like, huh? Who laughed? Ah, eh, whatever. I'm going to keep twirling like an idiot. Okay, I've tried this again. This is the May 7th, 2016 build. The myth told me in the previous episode to do it with the May 1st, 2016 build. This dude's sliding like Michael Jackson. I don't think that it's going to work. So that is officially debunked. Let's get on to the myths. Go into cyborg mode, then make those hot dogs. Can you feed them to a teacher? All right, in order for us to do that, we need to go into cyborg mode, yeah! Then we gotta epically join the cooking club. Hey girl, I wanna join the cooking club, yeah! Cyborg mode with my headband on, yeah! Okay, let's make some of those octo dogs, but we're doing it in cyborg mode. So get that jar. And start making those yummy, yummy octo dogs, baby. But now we are here holding the octo dogs in our hand. We are gonna feed them to the teacher. Free food, sure, I'll take one. Yes! So you can give the teachers food in cyborg mode. We are gonna try to give it to the gym teacher because everybody's gotta eat, even gym teachers. Eat this, and then you can run the mile if it's high in calories. So yes, you can give the teachers octo dogs in cyborg mode. I just did it. They ate it. They said it was yummy as fuck. On to the next one. Go into bad time mode and drop Midori off the roof in front of Kokona when she is taking her phone call. Will she react? Where does Kokona go if she does react? Okay, in order for us to do this, we are going to have to get Midori to follow us, please. There we go. We have to also position ourselves so we can drop her right over Kokona where she can see it. So I believe you can pick her up right here. Actually, let me just do like a test run real quick. So let me go into bad time mode and then pick her up. And there you go. Yeah, perfect. Damn, I should actually wait here. It's actually perfect. This is not a trial run. This is a perfect run. Okay, I'm going to wait for Kakona to take her phone call. Then I'll drop Midori. And look, guys, I'm fast-forwarding time, and Midori's just spinning in midair. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that is so cool. Whee! Spin, Midori, spin! Okay, I see Kakona down there. 
I am going to throw her off the roof like so. So let's drop her. And let's see what happens. There, she did notice her. Oh my god, is that a dead body? Yes, it is, Kakona. Gotta get to safety. Okay, let's see where she goes. Where does Kakona go from here? She's running. And you are going to... What the? She went in the middle of the girls and she called the police? What the fuck is that? And then she just stands there. So yes, Kakona does notice Midori if you throw her off the roof. She runs to the middle of all these girls, shaking it in her damn boots, and then she calls the police. And then now she's striking a pose because apparently she just forgot about Midori being thrown off the roof. So hopefully that answers your question. On to the next one. I got a myth. Fill the bucket in the bathroom with blood and pour it on Kakona while she's taking a shit to. Jesus Christ, a shit to? Fuck it, we're gonna roll with it. While she's taking a shit to, will she go take a bath or will she get electrocuted? Okay, in order for us to do this, I believe we have to make it Wednesday because I think Kakona goes to the bathroom at about 7.15ish? I'm not sure, I don't remember. Uh, we're gonna grab the screwdriver though because in order for her to get electrocuted, we are gonna have to unscrew the light switch at the bathroom and then we're gonna have to turn off the lights and she's gonna be like, who'll turn off the lights? And then she's either gonna get electrocuted or go take a bath because we are gonna fill it up with blood. So let's unscrew that bad boy there and then let's fill this water up with blood there you go we have filled it up with blood now all we have to do is wait for kakona to arrive and then what the fuck what in the world wait what the fuck did i just press hold on my frames per second are dropping like shit too what in the world that is so freaking cool what the fuck is this shit and, like, you can't go through them, so they're bodies. But they all look like the same character model. They kind of look like yandere chan What the fuck? And that's Senpai. What's up, Senpai? You looking right, Senpai? Mmm! Damn, that's my Senpai. Are there actually any more students in the area? Yeah, there are. But then there's a shitload of students walking around the school, too. Are there people walking around outside, or is that just an inside thing? Yeah, I think that's just an inside the school kind of thing. Okay, anyway, boys and gals, Kakona's over here. Her stomach's rumbling. She's got to take a machine gun shit. So we are going to wait right here with a bucket of blood. You know what? Let's get the door for her because we are very nice and gentlewomanly. So you go in there, Kakoni. There you go. And now the moment of truth. Does she wash the blood off or does she turn on the lights? Oh shit, let's turn off the light. There you go. Ugh. I have to turn the stupid lights back on. Yeah, I have blood on me, but let me turn the lights on first. <laughs> she sure has her priorities straight, doesn't she? Anyway, there you go, guys. If you pour blood on Kakona inside of the bathroom, she is going to be like, oh, is this blood? And then before she even goes to the locker room to shower, you can turn off the lights and then she'll be like, oh, I have to turn on the stupid lights first. Instead of just running out of the bathroom and going on her way to wash the blood off, she's like, no, I have to turn on the lights first before I leave to go wash this blood off. But before I move on to the next one, I want to make sure that Kakona just doesn't do the last thing that you do in the bathroom. Like, for example, if I turn off the lights first and then I pour the blood on her, second will she just run to the shower room i'm gonna try that and we are gonna figure that out right now okay so here's what we're gonna do we are gonna turn off the lights hey, first the and lights. then we are gonna pour the blood on her pour it pour it pour it pour it there you go and let's see if she turns on the light first or goes to the shower room where did all this blood come from uh i don't know it surely wasn't me i have to turn the stupid lights back on Okay, so she still has to turn the lights back on before she showers. So it doesn't matter which one you do first or second. She's always going to turn on the lights no matter if blood or water is poured on her. On to the next one. Okay, so I may have one. One, start at the beginning of the week. Two, go into Ebola mode and kill Senpai. Three, clean up everything and dump the body. How will Kakona react when Senpai isn't there on Wednesday? Okay, so I might have to modify your myth just a little bit. In Ebola mode, you can kill Senpai, that is a fact. But you can't clean his body because of that pink aura surrounding you. And, you know, you're just completely, you know, disabled to do anything at all with Senpai. So we are going to have to go into Cyrano mode and do that stair glitch where he's going to roll down the stairs. And then we can drag him to the furnace. So let's do that instead of Ebola mode. Okay, Senpai is about to go up the stairs. Time to die, Senpai! Yeah, buddy. Okay, he rolled down the stairs, so let's drag that ass all the way to the furnace. And Kakona saw that, but it's okay. Oh, shit. Is this person gonna try to get me? No, that's an occult club member. 
Okay, I just gotta make sure the martial arts people don't try to get me. Then I'll be alright. So let's drag Senpai all the way to the furnace. Wait, actually, let's teleport. And there we go. And let's go over to the furnace. And who the fuck is that? Who are you? Yeah, run out of here, you fuck boy. Oh, that's a girl. Run out of here, you fuck girl. Okay, one thing I'm actually scared of is if the delinquents are here. And yes, they're there. Fuck me silly. Okay, so I'm gonna join the light music club real quick so we can hide Senpai's body inside of the cello case. Let's go in here. And whoa, the light music club actually got an upgrade. I've never seen this before. Fucking cool, dude. Oh, and there's like an aquarium with a saxophone in there. Oh, and a cute little turtle. Oh, shit. What's up, turtle? What's up, my dude? Okay, anyway, let's join the light music club. And then let's grab the cello case and put Senpai in there. Shit, I almost forgot we need to get this saw because we can't just put a body inside of the cello case. We actually need to dismember him. And hopefully we can dismember Senpai without the game glitching out. Because I remember before, whenever you would dismember Senpai, the game would kind of bug out just a little bit. Wait, what the fuck? Hey, don't worry about me, guys. I'm not sawing anything up. Don't even listen to these sounds right here. That is not bones being crunched by a saw blade. No, sir. There we go. Wipe that sweat off. And we gotta hurry up and put all these things in here. So let's insert that. Why is she holding the body parts like that? That is weird. Insert that. Oh my god, I gotta hurry up. I only have a minute left. Come on, put Senpai's head in there. And then put his fuckboy body inside there. And two of his long ass legs. And last leg. And we are good. So let's close that. And then wear that. And let's burn the fuck out of this because we only have 48 seconds. And I knew it! The game is bugging out. Come on, you can make it! See, when you hold Senpai's head, the game starts bugging out just a little bit. So let me open this. And I don't have that much time. Go! I only got six seconds! No! <laughs> Fuck! It's not letting me do anything. It's so slow whenever you dismember Senpai. Damn it! The police arrive at school. The police are unable to locate any corpses on school grounds. Oh, let's fucking go! The police discover a circular saw that is stained with the blood of... Nobody! <laughs> the police find Yandere-chan's fingerprints on the weapon. Damn it! And Neri Chan is arrested by the police. She will never have Senpai. Okay, let me retry that. Actually, wait. Is this glitched out? It just says Senpai, no. Blood all over my backside. And no music at all. Okay. I guess I found another glitch. But let me actually try that again and see if I can get away with it. Okay, attempt number two. Hopefully, I don't accidentally kill Kakona. Yes. Oh, shit. I didn't even kill Senpai on that one. What the fuck? No. Damn it! Oh shit, I actually killed Kokona! Fuck my life! You know what? I'm doing this for you, Kokona! I'm gonna teabag that tornado head! Okay, attempt number three. Hopefully I can get this one. Boom! Yes! Gotcha, bitch! Let's go! Let's drag that body. Can you move out the way? Yes, there we go. Let's teleport. And then let's make it on over to the furnace, baby. Okay, there are some delinquents right there, but you know what I think I can do, guys? I think I can wait them out, because once the bell rings, the delinquents disappear. So let me see if I can just wait them out, and then I should be okay to throw Senpai in the incinerator. Okay, should be any minute now. It's almost 8.30, so the delinquents should disappear. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yes! They disappeared. And we got just enough time to throw Senpai in here. Sorry for that lag, ladies and gentlemen. Let's throw him in there. Wait, I saw the dump button. Yes. Okay. Dump Senpai in here. And we should be good to go. Hopefully he doesn't glitch out. Please, for the love of God, do not glitch out. It did glitch out! Fuck! Okay. Let me try to fast forward time. So, fast forward time. And then let's see what happens. The police arrive at school. Okay, hopefully we don't get caught. The police discover the corpse of Senpai. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. Please question Yandere Chamba. Cannot link her to any crimes. Yes. And they don't have enough evidence to perform an arrest. And we are good. Yandere Chan stalks Senpai. Well, technically, she stalks his dead body because we just killed him. And then returns to her own home. So now, let's fast forward to Wednesday. See if Senpai is at school. If he's not, let's see what Kokona does when she, you know, takes her bento to the courtyard and then starts, like, getting all juicy over Senpai. Okay, it is now Tuesday, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see if Senpai is actually here. I think that's him the hell? Hold on, let me fast forward time a little bit. Yeah, that's Senpai. Okay, so he's back at school. 
there's gonna be no way where we can have him not come to school because you cannot kill him in certain ways anymore there's been a bug that has been fixed with that but just so you guys you know can officially be comfortable with me debunking this I am going to go into Ebola mode and I'm gonna give Senpai some of this Ebola there you go enjoy the Ebola here let me give you a little more Ebola let me crouch down real quick and no I can't teabag Ebola into you okay so let me fast forward time so you guys know what's up and then we're gonna see what happens. The police arrive at school. The police discover the corpse of Senpai. The police are unable to locate any murder weapons. Nobody's gonna arrest us because they have no evidence. And then we are gonna fast forward to the next day so you guys know that it's impossible to kill Senpai in Ebola or any other way and have him not come to school anymore. Yep. And it is Wednesday at 7 a.m. I see Senpai walking up, probably texting some side bays. He should be only texting me because I'm his main bay. But yes. You cannot do anything involving Senpai and dying, so whatever Kokona would do, we'll never know because you can't get rid of Senpai. On to the next one. Jay, try this. One, get cigarettes or another form to get Kokona expel meter down. Two, before you end the day, put the camera in cinematic mode and see what happens. Three, you're that dude. Okay, so we what are going to get Infochan to drop a pack of cigs for us. There you go. And I don't think anything's gonna happen because there are no cinematic scenes that happen yet. But you never know. There could be like a cool awesome glitch or a bug when you put the camera in cinematic mode by Kakona's bag in the classroom. So we are gonna grab the cigarettes right over here. And let's go put it inside Kakona's bag. Okay, let's go inside here. The only bag by the desk. Place that. And let's go report our arrival to the guidance counselor. And I'm actually going to have the camera in two places, so I'm going to do this you? twice. I'm going to have one inside the counselor's That's office, and then I'm going to have one inside rules, of Kokona's classroom. completely illegal. If what you're saying is true, she will face serious consequences. I'll confront her about this. Okay. So first, I'm going to put the camera in cinematic mode inside of here. Then I'm going to end the day like so. And let's see what happens. I need to take a look in your bag. Cigarettes! You have absolutely no excuse to be carrying something like this around. Huh? I don't smoke. I don't know why something like this was in my bag. Okay, so there you have it. You just stand there, you hear the voiced lines about the cigarettes, and then Kakona saying, Oh, I don't know how this got in my bag. And then it just transitions into the bedtime scene where you're like in your pajamas and all that stuff. So let's put the camera one time inside of Kakona's classroom and see if anything happens there. Wait, why is it giving me the option to switch phones? I didn't take Kakona's phone. I went straight to the classroom. I didn't take anybody's phone. What the fuck? I'm not a damn thief. But you know what? We're going to put it in cinematic mode with Kakona's phone, and then we're going to fast forward it, and then we're going to see what happens. I need to take a look in your bag. Cigarettes! You have absolutely no excuse to be carrying something like this around. Huh? I don't smoke. I don't know why something like this was in my bag. Okay, so same thing. They just have the same dialogue, nothing happens. I had a feeling that would happen, but I just wanted to answer that question in this video. As of right now, as of the day this was uploaded, there have been no scenes where, you know, anything happens between the counselor and Kakona. Apparently, there's going to be some cutscenes that we can see in future builds, or hopefully when the game's complete in the future. But hopefully that answers your question. On to the last myth of today's episode. 1. Go into Ebola mode. 2. Kill everyone, the teachers too, except Midori. Save her for last. 3. If it works, Midori will have everyone scream. Oh, damn, that sounds hot as fuck. Okay, we are going to go into Ebola mode, and we are going to kill everyone starting right now. So let me actually stand right over here. I want everyone to come over here so I can kill them and they can't run away. And if this works, is what he said, then we'll have Midori scream, or everybody will have Midori scream if I kill everybody. So let me just run through here. There you go, there you go, and then I'm just gonna run through here, kill everyone, hey, don't run away, don't run away, oh fuck, go, no, 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 Pippi, nope, 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 nobody's running, and these two people aren't even running, what the fuck, oh shit, no, 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 you stay there, and then you die there, and oh my god, this is intense, okay, you die, you die, and yeah, and there are two people in between these lockers, so let me get you, then make a U-turn, beep beep, then I get you, and you, <laughs> and now it's on to the senseis. Haro sensei, have some Ebola. 
And you have some Ebola. And guess what you can have, Sensei? You guessed it, Ebola! And you have that Ebola. And I also have one more teacher here. And there's nobody in here, right? Nope, nobody in there. So last but not least, there is no teacher in here. What the fuck? Oh, this was the teacher that I killed downstairs. Okay, so we're good. Okay, let me make sure I can't kill my bae, the nurse. Yep, can't kill her. Thank you, God. Because <laughs> I'd feel so bad if I did kill her. All right, let me just make sure I can't kill the counselor. Nope, can't kill the counselor. Okay, so now everybody has Ebola. Last but not least, I need to kill Midori. And they said if I did this right, Midori will have everybody scream. So let's give her Ebola. There we go. We did it. That is so sick. And there's like some weird sound. You guys heard that? Oh, shit. That's cool. And now she's posing. So if you kill Midori... Everyone has that sound. What the fuck? And Midori doesn't even die. The skull goes around her, and then she just stands there, but nothing happens to her. And the people keep screaming. Let me see if I keep standing next to Midori, if it ever goes away. Nope. But it looks like she has that Santa Claus beard, though. Look. <laughs> ho, ho, ho. Oh, she looks like she has those angel wings, too. Cool. Okay, guys, this is creepy as shit. I put it in cinematic. I'm hiding behind Midori in Ebola mode. And now, if you guys listen closely, you can hear some weird, like, screaming sounds in the background. Watch this. All right, but there you guys go. If you kill everybody in Ebola mode and you save Midori for last, she will have the voice of a thousand screams. All you have to do is follow the same steps that I did, and there you go. But that's going to do it for this episode of Yandere Simulator Myths. If you guys have any more comments, questions, or challenges you want potentially featured in the next video, please leave them in this comment section below, and I will choose the most creative and unique ones. But if you guys enjoyed this video, though, please give it a like. And tell a friend today that Jay from the Cub Scouts is dead, too! <laughs>